The personal income tax cut is financed by a slower pace of debt reduction. If we had not cut taxes, we would have reduced from 37.5% to 30% in 10 years. Because we're reducing personal income taxes, it will take 15 years. So because the trade-off is between a slower pace of debt reduction and an income tax cut, and therefore there is no link to the level of public services. This is an excellent budget. We're increasing the Plan Québécois d'Infrastructure to $150 billion. This is approximately one and a half time the Infrastructure Plan of Ontario. We are spending money on health care. Health care spending is growing by more than 6% per year since we've been in power. Education, we are doing both. But Quebecers earning $50,000, $40,000, $70,000 are paying 36% 36, 36 more income taxes than Ontarians, and we want to change that. The equivalent in layman terms of what the CAC is doing is going out there, enjoying themselves in a party, and leaving the bill for the kids to take care of it. There's no other way of saying it. These guys are just pushing forward the issues that they should confront right now. But more specifically, the point I was trying to make before is that it's financing. It's plain Jane vanilla financing. And they had a choice. And they took the wrong choice. They took the wrong, most expensive choice. They could have just simply financed this with bond debt at an average cost historically of 3.1. And yes, last year the markets have been everywhere and so the number could be different. But just on history alone, the cost was 3.1% on the bond market, overall debt financing for the Quebec government, or the Fonds de Génération, which has been yielding 6.3%. So they're funding this tax cut by grabbing money that was aimed to go to the Fonds de Génération, money that was aimed to go at yielding 6.3%. So they're financing this tax cut with the most expensive tool. It just doesn't make any sense. I do not understand that.